lips are moving, if your lips are moving, if your lips are moving, then you la 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 baby. If your lips are moving, if your lips are moving, if your lips are moving. Hey guys, it's Monica, and today I am going to do a video all about shipping. And this one's going to be about how to ship on Poshmark. And if you don't know what Poshmark is, basically it's a buy and sell fashion app. And I'll do another video kind of just all about the app, but I wanted to complete my three-step process for you guys about what to do once you get in order. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'm just going to make this intro short and sweet. So let's just get into the video. Okay guys, so once you get a sale, you do your happy dance, you're super excited. Now the important part is what am I going to ship my orders in? I don't have any boxes laying around. What do I do? So what you need to do is you want to use the priority mailboxes that you actually can get online for free. I'll put a link down below about which boxes to use and where to find them. There are a bunch of different size boxes that are available and these smaller ones are perfect for jewelry, accessories, and I actually use these ones for a couple phone cases that I sold as well. Now once your boxes arrive, they normally come in 10 to 25 pieces and they actually all arrive flat. So once you get a sale, you'll just need to assemble your box, but it's actually pretty easy. Please make sure you're using the correct box. Do not use flat rate and do not use express mail. Poshmark shipping labels are all priority mail, so just make sure you're using the correct boxes. If you don't, your package may get sent back to you or your buyer will have to end up paying extra and nobody wants that. Once your box is good to go, you just need to add your item inside. And as you can see, sometimes there's extra space. So if you don't want your fragile item to be bouncing around during transit, you just wanna add some tissue paper or bubble wrap. And for the tissue paper that I use, I use some recycled paper that I had from Christmas or from birthdays. So all this is just recycled. Your lips are moving, if your lips are moving, if your lips are moving, then you're la 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 baby. If your lips are moving, if your lips are moving, if your lips are moving, then you're la la la. Now the awesome thing about these boxes is that most of them come with an adhesive, so you don't always have to use your own tape. But the only thing with the small ones is that sometimes they give me a little bit of trouble, so I will add some shipping tape just to secure it. But most of them, they're pretty much good to go. So I just take one piece of scotch shipping tape. Yes, remember scotch tape is my best friend, but I just take one of the pieces of tape and just put it along the edges. And if you're a little paranoid like me, I just add two pieces on the sides as well, just in case. But the other boxes, again, you don't need to do these steps. Now your box is almost ready, so the next step is just adding your shipping label. Once you get a sale, Poshmark will send you a shipping label to your email address. All you need to do is print it out, and it's obviously not going to be covered like this, but basically you just cut it along the edges, and you're just going to need some tape. If you want to learn how to put two to four shipping labels on one sheet of paper, there's an awesome posture from Healthy Girl TV. She shows you how to do that, and that way you can save ink and obviously paper. So I'll put her link and channel down below. Now I used three pieces of tape for the top, the middle, and the bottom. You wanna make sure your label's nice and secure so it doesn't get lost in the mail, but don't go too crazy with the tape. You wanna save as much supplies as you can. Make sure you don't put tape over the barcode. You wanna keep that part open because it makes it easier for your mail carrier to scan your label. I'm a classy girl, I'ma hold it up You're full of something, but it ain't love What we got straight overdue Go find somebody new Now you can see you have the letter P for priority mail And you just want to make sure it matches your box 
Now a quick tip, you can use these sticker labels that you can get on Amazon and you can actually just put this right into your printer and print out your label and that way you don't have to use any tape. Okay, really quickly, these are the most common boxes that I use. These ones are perfect for small bundles, maybe a one piece item sale, but as you can see, it's super easy to assemble. And if you just uh, flip it around, that is where the adhesive is. And these boxes, the adhesive for these ones are super sticky, so you don't need to use any tape. Now once you take off the sticker part, you just firmly press it against the box and as you can tell, it's super easy and now it's pretty secure. Just a reminder, this is a priority mailbox. It does not say flat rate. Now it's time to add your items in the box and if you want to learn how I did this adorable, easy, affordable packaging, I'll go ahead and put the link to my tutorial below. Again, I'm gonna add some recycled tissue paper. That way I know my item's not bouncing around in the box. Now your last step is to actually ship out your item. Now you can either request a pickup on the postal service website or you can head to your local post office. Outro! Okay guys, so I just wanted to kind of summarize just some key points about shipping on Poshmark. One of them is just to always use priority mail boxes. Again, I will put the link down in the description bar about how you can get those boxes and they are completely free, so always, always use those. And another tip would just be to make sure you send out your packages as soon as you can. I normally send my packages out the same or the next day, but I know everybody has lives and they got things they're doing, working, kids, whatever it may be. So even if you're not able to send it out like that fast, at least let your customers know like when they should expect their package, just so they're not waiting around and it's just another good customer service habit to have. And you wanna make sure you don't wait too long or else you're label that Poshmark sends you will expire and then it's just a whole mess to fix. I mean, it's a little bit easy to get to get a new label, but you don't want to have to go through all of that and you don't want your buyer to have to go through all that as well. So just make sure you send it as soon as you can. I really hope you guys found this video somewhat helpful. I had so much fun filming it for you guys. And please give it a thumbs up if you like to see more of these videos. And don't forget to subscribe. My next video is actually going to be about spring DIY. So that's going to be super fun. And yeah, so thanks again, guys, for watching. Bye. Another tip is to, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. what was I going to say? What was I going to say?